uh, and we need to change the port on here uh, it should be 80 as well you just need to change it to whatever port you decided to use uh, now once you've done that you save it I'm not gonna save mine because uh, I've already had it configured before so you save it and then um, just to be sure you should probably right click exit okay and start up WAMP again there it is okay allow uh, and once that icon goes like that where it's full white it should be good um, now let's go ahead and go into our uh, whoops not there WAMP www and uh, remember you should make a folder in the www folder don't use don't stop putting your files directly into www okay uh, so just make a folder I'm gonna use the folder tutorials right click new text document um, and we're just gonna rename this including the extension remember because we don't want it to be a text file because that doesn't work as a web page um, and we're just gonna name it to index.php uh, if you've watched any of the tutorial series, you'll recognize the name index. Basically, the word index, um, or I think home works as well, the word home, and also maybe main, I'm not entirely sure. But um, index and home, I know that by default, when you go to that pay, when you go to that URL, if the there is an existing index or um, home.php or HTML file there, it will automatically go to that one. That's just how uh, the server works. Okay. Um, now right-click this, and I'm just going to be using Notepad++. And to test that PHP is working, we're just going to type one very simple thing. Um, there are two ways of actually typing this because. PHP has two commands uh, for doing the same thing, basically. It's really just your preference. We can either type print, which is probably the more common, hello world, and I think in PHP you need the semicolon, I've forgotten. Put it there to, uh, just in case, though. Or you can use echo, okay? They both work. Then you save that, um, and now opening our um, our server is a bit of a trick, okay? Normally, you just go to localhost, right? Okay, like that. If we try to go to that, it's not actually going to find anything, okay? And the reason is because by default, localhost, um, if you type in localhost, it will search for localhost at port 80. But we reset our port, remember, because we didn't want it to interfere with any applications. So all we have to do is type a colon after localhost and type our port number, which is 8080. That's why you saw that pop up when I typed in localhost. Press enter and voila. Okay. And this is that, that cool little uh, index page I was talking about, which is why you don't want to put your files directly in the www folder, because they'll ruin up this cool little home page. Um, here you can check out your PHP version and everything. So, uh, all the extensions as well. So it's pretty cool there. Um, now all you need to worry about is this section, your projects. Now you just find the, the folder you made. I made tutorials and click it. And, okay, something's not working. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. I know why, I've just forgot. Um, with PHP, you can't just type it in, even if you've got the PHP extension. What you actually need to do is you need to use PHP tags, okay? And there you can see once I use the PHP tags, it starts highlighting it properly. Uh, so the opening tag in PHP is less than sign, question mark, and PHP. You can just use less than sign and question mark, but it's, it's just, I think it's better practice to use by typing in PHP as well. Closing tag, you just have to type like this. If you type in PHP, I don't think it works. Yeah, it doesn't work. So it's just question mark and the greater than sign. And everything in between here will be passed as PHP. Okay? If it's not a uh, correct PHP command, it uh, you'll get a, an error thrown. Okay? So let's go back to our page and press F5 again. Okay, there we go. So, uh, two simple ways, and let's just add a line break to make it look a bit neater. Now, we can add line breaks in two ways, actually, as well. Might as well just cover this quickly in PHP. We can either use the backward slash n, because um, PHP is a scripting language, so it understands that. Um, if we just test that, let's 
Okay, there we go. Uh, weirdly enough, that's only adding a space. That should add a, a return. But, um, anyway, the other way is we can actually use HTML in PHP because what happens is um, when we view it on a web page, it will actually pass all this stuff into HTML. Okay, so if we press enter, the, uh, sorry, F5 to refresh, uh, we can see it's on two separate lines. Um, that's really it for this tutorial. I just wanted to get everyone started up with their, um, their server. So the next few tutorials will be really diving into the, the um, depths of PHP. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys later.